The frontline states that is all Tanzania, Botswana, Zambia, Mozambique, Angola, and Nigeria were instrumental in the decolonization process in the 1970s up to 1984 Zimbabwe, and South Africa only democratized in 1994. The foundation laid by the leaders of that time is easily reflected in the complexion of the 156 graduates of the Joint Command Staff Course No. 33 of the year 2020. The graduation due to COVID-19 was partially virtual and physical. Only foreign students received the certificates from the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Zimbabwe Defence Forces, Comrade Emerson Dambuzo Mnangagwa, and those who excelled were given their shields by the Commander-in-Chief. Botswana, Malawi, Mozambique, South Africa, Tanzania, Zambia and Nigeria. The West African country that became a frontline state had its students among the several SADC member states. The SADC region has seen its military forces deployed in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Lesotho, Angola, and Mozambique to maintain but a few. To maintain peace, the President and Commander-in-Chief said, this has made all of us safer as the cooperation has seen regional security, stability, and economic integration possible. The regional solidarity which gets back to liberation struggle remains an arsenal for us to deal with acts of terrorism and other attacks threatening our Sadiq region. These acts must be responded to through the continued vigilance of our defense forces and the development of modern approaches. Threats to national peace and stability as seen the Zimbabwe Defense Forces deployed both at home and abroad. It could be marooned villagers on the Mukumbura River in Mashonaland Central or in Dande, or attacks on the railway wagons carrying Zimbabwean goods to the seaport of Beira in Mozambique. The Zimbabwe Defense Forces have not been found wanting. The ZDF has excelled and earned recognition as a guarantor of peace and security in our great country as well as being a contributor to various international peacekeeping campaigns. This has been made possible by the regular and high standards of training within the ZDF, which is reflective of the impeccable credentials of its commanders and administrative architecture. The president said the 2020 Joint Command and Staff Course, number 33, has seen a three-fold enrollment figure compared to other years. The course saw students getting the feel of Zimbabwean life as they visited some industries and communal villages so as to understand an enabling environment in areas they will serve post-certification. Due to COVID-19, the Zimbabwe Staff College participated in a military exercise from the 21st to the 25th of September 2020, codenamed Exercise Uhuru, involving their counterparts in Botswana, Zambia, and South Africa. It was done virtually. Ruben Barwe, ZBC News, Harare.